Well, Valley citrus growers and researchers on edge tonight. They are concerned the recent flooding is also spreading disease to their trees. Channel 5 Sierra Passaro spoke with Valley growers who are keeping a close eye on the citrus canker. The disease is taking over hundreds of lime trees in Cameron County, but farmers worry that the recent stormy weather opens up the risk for other citrus diseases. It's a disease with no cure. Kanka is a deadly disease. You know, there's a very huge risk of spread uh, that can negatively affect the citrus industry, which is a major employer of labor down here and something that we take pride in. And, and canker forms lesions on the fruit that would render it impossible to sell publicly. Citrus canker is easily detected. You'll see blister-like marks with yellow halos. They'll show up on the fruit, stems, and leaves of an infected tree. Citrus canker doesn't affect humans. It slowly kills citrus trees. Once the tree becomes affected, uh, what happens is you know, the canker spreads throughout the tree. And over time, you, know, you start seeing a lot of leaf drop. So when you lose a lot of leaf, you know, the citrus tree definitely you know, diminishes in production. Right now, there are two citrus canker outbreaks, one in Cameron County affecting only lime trees. The quarantine is in Rancho Viejo. It was put in effect back in fall of 2015. Since then, 264 trees detected with canker have been destroyed. Dr. Alufemi Alabi says all those detections were found on residential property. Right now in the Rancho Viejo area, all these detection sites are mainly in people's backyard. No Valley commercial farms hit with canker yet. That's what they're trying to avoid. That brings us to another larger outbreak. In the Houston area, citrus canker is taking over all varieties of citrus. Dr. Alabi hopes that massive infection doesn't make its way to the Valley. We know for a fact that if care is not taken, those infected trees might end up down here because people move around, you know, they move plants. The biggest risk of spread is through human. The weather plays a part too. What makes it more alarming is this particular season, you know, where we are in. Citrus canker is spread through contact or carried by the wind and rain. And again, the spinning rain and spores and travel on equipment or on people could easily bring it down here. If that one made its way to the valley, that would be a, a very large concern. That's why last week's stormy weather was alarming for valley growers and researchers. Dr. Alibi says they're still surveying whether or not Mother Nature helped spread canker in the RGV. For every single tree we detect, there's a possibility that there might be other trees out there that we are yet to detect. Citrus growers are advised to never touch a tree you think is infected with canker. If you think your tree shows any signs of disease, including citrus canker, make sure you report it to citrusalert.com. In Mission, Sierra Pizarro for Channel 5 News.